north of the city of East Lake, that's just northeast of the city of Cleveland, people could feel the aftershocks there, the impacts from it, I should say, as far as 12 miles away, including some folks in downtown Cleveland. Federal geologists confirmed it was a 2.6 magnitude quake today. This is the third one in that area this year, and so far no damage has been reported. <laughs> Meteorologist Molly Coates is joining us now with a check of the forecast. Molly, beautiful weekend, but you say it's all going to change this week. Yeah, it's really going to change, especially in a few short hours because rain is on the way and you will need that rain gear. I'm going to time out some rain chances for you coming up in just a few moments. And then not only will we be dealing with rainy conditions as we look towards Monday, but temperatures will be falling as we look towards Tuesday, Wednesday, and even into Thursday. It will definitely feel like winter here in the Miami Valley. Sunshine and drier weather will return later on in the forecast. I'm going to keep continuing to give you all of these details in my full forecast. Live Doppler 7 for skiing skies for you every 60 seconds. You can see a lot of that thick cloud cover here in the Miami Valley and most of us are staying dry right now. We will see that change as we look towards uh, closer to sunrise. Temperatures won't be falling very much tonight. We will stay very warm. Temperatures only falling into the upper 40s. Breezy conditions and cloudy skies and then let's time out those rain chances for you. This is going to be as we look towards the overnight hours right around 5 a.m. closer to Monday morning we will start to see the rain enter into the Miami Valley. You can see it will be widespread at times and we could even see some heavier pockets of rain so as we are getting out the door early Monday morning just keep in mind that we will be seeing some rain showers. We will continue to be dealing with some heavy pockets of rain especially towards the afternoon and evening time. You can see future cast is picking up on the darker yellows there. That's indicating light to moderate rainfall across the Miami Valley. Through the dinner time hours, you can still expect to see some rain showers. So if you are going maybe out to dinner, picking the kids up from the after school activities, keep in mind that you will still need that umbrella. As far as future rain potential, we could see anywhere from a half of an inch to areas over that where we get those heavier pockets of rain. So you can expect to see a lot of this rain into the morning, afternoon, and even into the evening hours. So as we are preparing for uh, tomorrow, definitely have that rain gear handy. You won't need the hat or the gloves just because we will continue to stay very warm. At the bus stop, temperatures will be into the upper 40s and the rain will be falling during that time. Temperatures will be above average. Once again, highs will be climbing into the middle 50s and we will continue to see uh, warmer conditions throughout Monday, but temperatures will drop off as we look towards Tuesday. Winds will begin to pick up as our front begins to move through the Miami Valley, and we can see anywhere from a 25 to an isolated 30 mile per hour wind gust, and you can expect rainy and windy conditions to last throughout the day. You can see as we time out for the evening forecast, we could even see a little bit of those higher wind gusts there. As we look at the five day forecast for you, as those temperatures fall on Tuesday, we could see some rain transition over into some light snow showers. Little to no accumulation will be expected. Temperatures right around 35 degrees. Frigid for Wednesday. Temperatures will be right at 32 degrees, but we will be seeing some sunshine. Sunshine will continue into Thursday, and then cloudy skies will turn for Friday and seasonable temperatures. Don't forget to tune in to meteorologist Kirstie Zantini. She's going to be timing out those rain chances for you starting at 425 a.m. Molly, thank you. A local organization is helping foster kids have the best chance at a new life. What it's doing for thousands of children here in our area. Was it a snub for the Buckeyes or just something else to prove? The playoff pairings are out. Meanwhile, the Flyers make another statement outside of the UV Arena. Sports is up next.